The easiest way to begin your word of mouth campaign to promote your app is to identify the people, the organizations, the brands, the websites, the publications that influence the target users that you want for your app. The easiest way that I find to do this initially is to go to sparktoro.com, which to some extent is a free program. And then what I would do is select one of these to identify who the target person is that you want to install your application. So you can define them based on what they talk about, based on the words that they use in their profile, based on other social accounts that they follow, websites that they visit, or hashtags that they use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say they use these words in their profile and we're going to say that we've created an app for dog trainers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in dog trainer as a word in their profile. So for example, uh, on their Twitter or their Facebook, they might put that they're a dog trainer. And what this is going to do is it's going to spit out the organizations, the brands, the people that influence dog trainers. So let's hit discover. And we can see some social accounts that they follow, some hidden gems. So these might be uh, influencers and publications that maybe aren't super competitive to get into, but are, are kind of rising. Websites that they visit, some other niches, press that they follow. Okay, so the main thing that I do is I use the navigation on the left here and I can identify, for example, social accounts. Okay, so what we've just identified is someone who has a lot of influence among dog trainers. So what I would do is I would reach out to Victoria and you can reach out to her through her Facebook, her Instagram, her Twitter, or you can just search for her on Google or go to her website. And what you may find is her email may be hidden. So maybe you find her YouTube channel and you go to her about section and she doesn't actually provide her email address. So what you're going to have to do is try messaging her on Facebook, maybe adding her at uh, on Twitter. Um, email would be the first place that I would start. Another effective place I find is if you can't find the actual email address, sometimes websites will have a contact form and uh, this is how I was able to get a relationship going with a top, the number one influencer uh, among the professionals that I was targeting at one time in the United States. Uh, so you could just submit this form uh, and just put the uh, required information in here and I'm, I'm going to walk you through later some guidelines on how to solicit these influencers because I've had a lot of success with it. Okay so Victoria, very clear case of an influencer, right? It, the brand name is her name. She's an individual. There's a picture of her. We can see uh, how many followers she has on these different social channels. And we also see that she can reach 17% of the dog trainer audience. Uh, and her total followers is about half a million. Now, <clears throat> some of these influencers are going to be not branded in the person's name. They're going to have their own brand. So Whole Dog Journal, for example. So what you might do is you might go there and solicit them with a proposal for a guest blog post or a co-webinar or something like that. Karen is another influencer, Bark, uh, all of these are social channels. Now, uh, this is not available for free, but what you could do, and I've had a lot of success here as well, is solicit people that run podcasts, and you would have to upgrade to get access to this. Uh, but you could also just go to podcasts, search for dog training, and see uh, who is influencing those people. There are other places you can go as well. Um, you could go, for example, to YouTube and just type in dog trainer. You could go to Amazon and find out, okay, who wrote books on dog training? And then what we'll do is we'll put in books here. And we see, oh, okay, Zach George. Okay, so Zach George has gotten almost six and a half thousand reviews on his Amazon book. Reach out to Zach with some compelling proposal give him something for free and he could be somebody that potentially endorses your your app uh, you could go to twitch particularly if you're going after like the gamer market identify who the influencers are there you could go to twitter and you could put in hashtag like dog training in twitter or tiktok too 
So there are lots of different ways to identify who influences your, your target customers, target users, people you want installing your app. But the easiest way to kind of aggregate it and to assign a value, a quantitative value to them is by using SparkToro. So here, for example, I can see Victoria, because she reaches 17% of the audience, she's potentially the most valuable influencer we have here. 